everyone, welcome to this series on Angular. In this video, we'll create a simple Hello World application and take a tour of the packages and modules in an Angular app. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos and want to keep yourself updated with cutting edge technologies, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So now, without further ado, let's look at the agenda for the session. First, we'll see a brief introduction to Angular. Then we'll look at the prerequisites to build an Angular app. And finally, we'll have a demo on the creation of your first application. All right, so what exactly is Angular? Now, I'm sure you all have apps like Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at your fingertips. Now, one of the reasons why everybody loves them so much is because they offer a seamless user interface. Now, Angular helps us with that. So what exactly is Angular? It is a JavaScript framework mainly used for building SPAs or single page applications. These single page applications get loaded initially and all the subsequent interactions only update the additional data on the screen. The entire page doesn't get reloaded. So I hope you understood what a single page application is. So Angular is developed using TypeScript, which is a superset of JavaScript. Now you must be wondering why Angular? Angular as a framework provides a few significant advantages while also providing a common structure for developers on a team to work with. Now coming to the advantages, first up, there's custom components. Now Angular allows you to build your own declarative components that can render logic into reusable pieces. Data binding. Angular allows you to seamlessly move your data from your core JavaScript code to the view. Don't worry, in the subsequent videos, we'll discuss this in detail. Next up, we have dependency injection. Now, Angular allows you to write modular components and have them injected wherever needed. This greatly improves the testability and reusability of the code. Next up is testing. Now, Angular has been built from the ground up with testability in mind. So you can practically test every part of your application. Lastly, it's comprehensive. Angular is a full-fledged framework and provides out-of-the-box solutions for server communication, routing with your application, and more. So moving on, let's look at the prerequisites for Angular. First up, we have Node.js. Angular uses Node.js as its base for a large part of its build environment. So as a result, to get started with Angular, you will need to have Node.js installed on your environment. So head to their official website and download the latest release for your corresponding operating system. Next up is the Angular CLI. Now, this command line interface is a tool that makes it easier to bootstrap and develop your Angular applications. Now, to install the latest version, run the command npm install hyphen g at angular front slash CLI. You gotta run this command on your command prompt. And finally, to confirm installation, check for its version. Now, the next thing that you will need is an IDE or a text editor to type your code. Now, there are several IDEs that you can choose from. But in this series, we've used VS Code throughout. So, it is available on all platforms. So, go ahead and download it if you haven't already. Now, moving on to the final part is the demo. Now that you have a basic understanding of Angular and its prerequisites, I think you're ready to create your first Angular application. So, let's head to our VS Code and begin. Here, I've created a folder called Angular on my desktop and opened it on my Visual Studio code. So to create your app, you need to open the terminal. Just go here and select new terminal. And now type in the command ng new and provide the name for your app. So I'm just going to say hello world. So now this is going to create, just say yes. So basically what happens is that when you run the command, it will automatically generate a skeleton application under the folder that is hello world in our case. And it includes a bunch of files and installs all the necessary dependencies for the Angular application. So this could take a while. So once you've created your application to run it, First, change the directory. So let's say cd hello world. And now use the command ng sir. Now, once it's compiled, you need to go to your browser and type in 
local host 4200 and once you do that you can see your ui you can see that the application has been loaded onto your browser and it says hello world app is running so this is how you create your application so let's go back to our vs code now as you can see here there are many files and folders that are created right so let's look at a few of them of course we can't explain everything but i'll brush through a few of them so the first main component is basically the root component now the root component here is the index.html so here if you open the file and see it's a very small crisp code right but the most important thing in the file is this app root element so what this does is it's basically the marker for loading your application code so this is extremely important so the next important file is the main.ts now this is a part of the bootstrapping piece all right so the index.html file is responsible for deciding which files are to be loaded correct the main.ts file on the other hand identifies which angular module is to be loaded when the application starts so this is just a brief explanation as to what they are doing next we have the app folder now here we have the app. module.ts file now this application module file can be thought of as the core configuration of your application so here's where the source code starts from and moving on we have the app.component.ts so these are all typescript files hence the extension ts now this file basically is the root component of your application and then we have the html file for the same which defines the appearance of what you can see on your browser So let me just change the message that is being displayed. So I'll say, "Hey, welcome to this Angular tutorial." So let's save this, and when we go back to our browser, we can see the message, "Hey, welcome to this Angular tutorial," being displayed. So like this, we can make a simple change, and then it gets rendered onto your browser. So this was just a brief explanation of what happens in the background of your application. I hope it was helpful to you. So with that, we conclude this session. We will be back with more videos on Angular. So watch out for them. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.